Naruto, Clash of Ninja Revolution 2. Enjoy an exciting story. Okay, here we go. What village are you from? What are you doing here? <laughs> Not much for talking, are you? Guess we'll just have to make them then. Get ready! First round! What's going on here? All the villagers are dead. It looks as if they've all killed each other. What have they done? It seems they're targeting the Hidden Leaf Village. Hmm. It doesn't help that the village has been badly weakened by Orochimaru. Not to mention most of the Anbu and Joni being out on missions at the moment. I know. Rumor has it, rogue ninja have already infiltrated the village. What? That's horrible! We need to perform a thorough inspection of the village right away. Understood. We'll begin immediately. Kakashi, do you mind? Not at all. Just leave it to me. Grandma Tsunade, let me help, too! Settle down. The enemies of all Jonin class. This is out of your league. I can't just sit here while the village is in danger. I'm helping no matter what! I guess the rumors were true after all. Kara, what are you doing here? Word has reached the hidden sand that the leaf is in danger of an attack. And rogue ninja from our village appear to be involved in this somehow. We came to share what information we possess. Kankuro and Tamari will be here soon as well. I appreciate your coming to notify us. If you're in need of backup, we'll assist you. We are allies, after all. If you want in, you got it, Gara. Now let's get this mission rolling!
you doing? I want to eat some meat. Huh? If I could feed you, I could eat all the meat I could ever dream of. Choji, I don't care how hungry you are. You're acting like a loon. Not at all. It seems as though Choji is under the influence of some kind of jutsu. Jutsu? What do we do? Our only choice is to fight him and break the jutsu. Got it. Choji, who put that jutsu on you? I don't really know. But this stranger appeared out of nowhere and I can't remember a thing after that. A stranger? Looks like the enemy has already infiltrated the village after all. And they use some kind of jutsu to control people too. Choji might not be the only one under its influence either. Naruto, stay on your toes. You got it! Hey Naruto, got any food on you? I'm really starving. You're always hungry, whether you're under a jutsu or not! Smells one. Oh no! He was under the influence of that jutsu too! I'm not in the habit of fighting weaker opponents, but I'll make an exception this time. Let me handle this. Gara, prepare yourself! Jutsu has been broken. I'm glad you're back to your senses now, Kiba. Hmm. I don't think this will be the last time we fight one of our own. I can do that. What are you talking about? If I don't defeat you, they'll be... 
be angry with me. Yeah. <clears throat> Josh Sensei, look out! It's that jutsu again. There's only one way to return her to normal. I'm going to have to fight her. You can blame your lack of ability. Hino, get a hold of yourself. Are you all right? Huh? Kakashi Sensei? What am I doing here? Ugh. Ah. I tried to go easy, but I may have overdone it. I'm sorry, Hino. Kakashi Sensei, you'll never be popular with the ladies treating them like this.
Yo, Naruto. Shikamaru! Can't fool me! What are you giving me the stink eye for? I can see right through your plan! You're being controlled by the enemy! Admit it! Huh? Why else would you be waiting here to ambush us like this? I was just chasing after some suspicious looking person. You're not gonna fess up! I'm just gonna have to kick your butt! I guess nothing I say will get through to him. It's a drag. But I guess I'll have to fight. Listen to me. Shikamaru, you really aren't being controlled by the enemy? You think I'd fall for something like that? Seriously, it's me, the one and only. The truth is, enemy ninja have infiltrated the Hidden Leaf Village. Choji, Kiba, and a few others have all been hit by their jutsu. That's why I thought you were being controlled too. Well, the fellow I was chasing after just might be our guide. Leave it to us to track down that ninja. Shikamaru, you go make sure nobody else is being controlled by that jutsu. You got it. It's a pain, but I'll do my best. gotten away with everything thus far, but now there's nowhere for you to run. You're the one who used that jutsu on all my friends! I'm gonna make you pay! Let's get it! <clears throat> Not to wait. We should probably question him first. Now, just tell me who your boss is. <laughs> if you wish to live, you would better talk. Fast. <laughs> I see. That's all you have to say, huh? <laughs> In that case, I suppose we'll just have to drag it out of you then. You can blame your lack of ability. All right, let's hear it. Tell me what I want to know. <laughs> What's the real reason you're infiltrating the Hidden Leaf Village? If you have no answer, I will have no mercy. <laughs> Our plan is to... <laughs> <sighs> there were more of them. It's no use. He's done for. The enemy should still be nearby. Naruto, got him. We have to catch them. You got it!
caught up to the enemy, but he was killed before we could get him to talk. Sorry, Grandma Tsunade. I see. So it seems that multiple ninja have managed to infiltrate the village. They used Jutsu to control our ninja! Kiba, Choji, and a bunch of others! This isn't going to be easy. I found the source of all our trouble. Jiraiya, we've been waiting for you. There's been quite a bit of activity at their hideout since morning. I think they may be ready to put their plan into full effect pretty soon. We have to prepare for the battle that could ensue. Kakashi Sensei! Did you capture the enemy? I sincerely apologize, Lady Tsunade. The enemy escaped my grasp. Also, there's something else troubling. I can't find Sakura anywhere. Sakura? She may have been taken by the enemy. No way! I've gotta go and rescue her! Come on, Purvy Sage! Tell me where their hideout is already! All right, just calm down. We don't even know how strong their boss is. We need more information. No, Jiraiya. It might actually be better to make the first move this time. I have a bad feeling about this. Now that's what I'm talking about! Let's head out! Now, tell me more about that town you're investigating. Yes, Lady Tsunade. In our investigation... Everything is going according to plan. Good. We've got the bait to lure those fools here. At which time we can put the plan into full effect. <laughs> the fall of the Hidden Leaf Village is near. Yes. Soon your dream will become a reality. The Hidden Leaf Village will be destroyed. The destruction of the Hidden Leaf Village. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on that Hokage's face. Take the three of us to handle pathetic ninja like these. Go on ahead. All right, we'll leave this to you. Naruto and I will head for the entrance to the hideout. Sounds good to me, Gara. I'm counting on you. I'll be right behind you.
Yeah, I'm here now. Don't worry about a thing. <sighs> Thank you, Naruto. Hey, what's wrong? I almost fell under the enemy's genjutsu. I don't know. Everything is still kind of hazy. Are you okay, Sakura? Yes, I think so. Good. Although, something isn't right here. Kakashi Sensei, what's the matter? It's a little hard to believe. Rescuing Sakura was too simple. There isn't a single enemy in sight. This must be a trap. You hit it on the nose. What? Are you serious? <laughs> here they come. Naruto, take care of Sakura. You got it! I'll protect her with my life! Get ready! First round! <laughs> I protected Sakura just like I said I would. I handled all the enemies over here as well. Good job, you two. But you can't relax just yet. Are there still enemies around? I don't know. Either way, we have to get out of here as fast as possible. Leave this to the Anbu. Yuga, why are the Anbu here? Lady Tsunade gave us orders to offer support. Grandma Tsunade? Thanks. I owe you one. I don't think we'll have a problem handling these guys on our own. We need to get out of here now. Yuga! Hey, Anbu lady! Thanks for the assist! Save your thanks. Just get going. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Move in. Take her down. I will defeat my enemy. Let's have a fair fight. Begin! <laughs> the mission. Looks like that's all of them. We still haven't found anyone that could be their boss. Trust me, the boss is somewhere around here. Let's search the area again.
What the? Who are you guys? Names really aren't important at this point. For now, let's just say we're arch enemies of the Hidden Leaf Village. Well then, could you at least take off that terrible mask? It just doesn't go with the rest of your outfit. <laughs> There's no need to show you the boss's face. Get him! Dara, I'm pretty sure you can handle these fools on your own. No problem. All right then, I guess you and I will take the big guy and the mask. We'll crush you like the insects you are. I don't think so, pal! Oh well, guess I'll have to get that mask off you myself, won't I? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Just come give it a try if you think you've got what it takes. I don't need an invitation, I'm already there! Get ready. First round. Begin. could have seen my face. Kashi Sensei, do you know her? At Zanbu. We used to work together. Once she went rogue, we lost track of her whereabouts. It's over. Why were you trying to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? The plan to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village goes on unhindered. Even as you all stand here, wasting your breath. Kamura, what is he talking about? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? You'll just have to wait and see. Witness, as your beloved Hidden Leaf Village falls into nothing more than misery and peril. <coughs> we'll meet again, Kakashi. If you manage to survive that long, that is. See ya. Hey, wait! I said wait! This is bad. If she's the one behind all this, we need to get the Lady Tsunade now. Looks like you've cleaned up nicely here. Yeah, we rescued Sakura and everything. Jiraiya, are you able to dig up any additional information? Yes, I've discovered their plans. They're going to put up barriers and try to control everyone with Genjutsu. Genjutsu? Perfy Sage, we've got news too. We found out who the enemy is. Oh really? Who might that be? She's a former member of the Hidden Leaf Village's Anbu. It's Kagura. Kagura? The ninja who turned rogue? Yes. Hmm. I see. Now everything has fallen into place. Pervy Sage, you look like you figured it all out. Is there something I'm not getting? Come on, tell me too! I want to know! I'll give you the details later. If we don't get back to the village soon, it could be in serious danger. Everything's going as you planned. As I planned. This is your show, not mine. You're the oily weapons merchant, after all. <laughs> this plan really is the perfect crime. It doesn't matter who comes out on top, my weapons will sell through the roof. <laughs> Can't really argue with that logic. Let me ask you something. What exactly are you trying to achieve through all of this? Me? Yeah. If the Hidden Leaf Village is shaken, I'm set to profit. But what do you get out of all of this? It's nothing more than a whim, really. I've been rather bored of late. I don't understand you, but it doesn't really matter. We're so close to victory, I can taste it.
Please, what are you doing? I do not understand what is going on. After I finished training, I headed back here. Then, out of nowhere, Neji and Ten Ten attacked me. Compared to my Byakugan and gentle fist style, your attacks are nothing. I shall end this quickly. This is the end of the line for you. Just try and survive an onslaught of my weapons. Kakashi Sensei, Neji and Ten Ten are... It looks like we were a bit too late. The barrier has already been set up around the village. Ah, I understand now. They just want to test my training. You idiot! That's not it at all! They're under the influence of the Genjutsu! Genjutsu? That's what I said! You can talk to them until you're blue in the face! They won't listen! Naruto, how do we break this Genjutsu? What am I, a genius? We just have to fight them! There's nothing else we can do! Understood. In that case, I will show you just how much I have been training! Jutsu is broken? No, it doesn't look like it is. This is obviously a different jutsu than we encountered before. Well, what do we do? Well, first off, we have to get to Lady Tsunade. skilled in the art of Genjutsu. The way she dealt with her enemies was extremely cold and cruel in nature. And it looks like she's mastered that forbidden jutsu. Forbidden jutsu? When she left the village, she stole a sealed scroll. It was the forbidden jutsu, known as Soul Bane. What kind of jutsu is that? It creates an illusion in the victim's mind, causing them to see friend as foe. Friends and allies will turn against each other until there is no one left. Then why did she set up that barrier? That's a necessary step for the full jutsu, and it afflicts everyone at once. She's not getting away with this! I'll see to that! This has happened once already, in a town discovered by the Elm. The place was in ruins. Lady Tsunade sent us back in to investigate. There were signs of barriers, and everyone had turned on each other. She used those people as test subjects before attacking the Hidden Leaf. Everyone who was in the village when the barrier was formed was affected. Then why wasn't Grandma Tsunade affected by it? I felt that something was strange when I heard the Andu's report. So I did my homework and set up a reflective barrier around this room. That's impressive, Lady Tsunade. 
So, Pervy Sage, is there any way to break this jutsu? Well, we start by defeating the enemies protecting the four barriers. The problem, however, comes after that. The jutsu won't be completely broken until we defeat Kagura, will it? That's exactly right. I'm also worried about that man who was with Kagura. Come on, Pervy Sage! Why are you so scared? Who cares if she's some high flute ninja? Let's go get her! You may be right. Time is of the essence. Who they are doesn't matter. We have to act quickly. Lady Tsunade, allow the Anbu to determine Kagura's current whereabouts. See to it then. Everyone else, defeat the enemies to take down the barriers. Remember, Kagura's Genjutsu is powerful enough to affect even Jonin Ninja. Don't let down your guard. Leave it to us, Grandma Tsunade! We'll protect our friends and the Hidden Leaf Village! victim to the Genjutsu as well. That is impossible! How could someone as strong as Gai Sensei fall to such a Jutsu? Leek, we have to defeat Gai! There's no other choice! But he is my teacher! How could I stand against him? Oh, come on! What are you mumbling about over there? Come fight the handsome devil of the Hidden Leaf Village of Mike Gai! Gai Sensei, you really do not know who I am? I have no acquaintances among my enemies. Bring it, baby! No way! I cannot believe that guy Sensei has forgotten who I am! Lee, we have to fight him! Don't worry, I'll fight with you! Again, he won't be able to break the barrier alone. I hate to ask this, but, uh... I'm going to need you all to hold off Guy while I head for the barrier. Got it! I'm counting on you. I guess we have no choice! Well then, guy Sensei, let the real fight begin!
My, my. This is quite a barrier we have here. You're Kakashi, the copycat ninja. Oh, you've heard of me. It's an honor. Now I don't even have to introduce myself. By the way, you can skip the introduction as well. What do you mean? You'll be unconscious before you even get the chance to finish. What? I'm a former Jonin, you know. You'd better not underestimate me. You don't say? Well, Mr. Former Jonin, this is your last chance. You can either take down the barrier, or you can fight your last battle against me. It's your choice. I'm not taking down this barrier for anyone. And this battle will be your last, not mine. You hear me? Ah, well. We can go through the motions, I guess. Right, shall we begin? Let's have a fair fight. Begin! Take this! Trying on! Take this! You could have done a lot of things with your life. I can't. The barrier. The barrier is breaking. Well, that's it for the first barrier. But three still remain. What a mess. Strike me as the kind of guy who'd be working for Kagura. You're pretty sharp, old man. You're right. I'm only using her to get what I want. What do you have against the Hidden Leaf Village? Oh, nothing at all, actually. My business is weapons. If the Hidden Leaf Village falls, the five great nations will fall out of balance. When that happens, conflict deep enough to rival the Great Ninja War will ensue. Catch my drift? An arms dealer setting war in motion from the shadows, huh? You must be... Bondo. A name known by all who traverse the black market, I'm proud to say. I see. I've heard the rumors. I have to give you credit for being able to manipulate Kagura. 
That's nothing. As soon as I presented a plan to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village, she left at the chance. So your plan was to create a larger demand for weapons by upsetting the balance of peace amongst the nations. Pretty sharp for an old man. What do you say? Why don't you join me? We can get rich together. Sorry, I'm no old man. And that aside, low lives like you make me sick. Hey, if you're in such a rush to die, that's your choice. I'm just happy to grant you your wish. Get ready. Whoa! First round. Begin! Well now, what to do with you? I'm not the one that you're after. Here, I'll prove it to you. Very well. The barrier seems to have been broken. I was just being used by Kagura. Pathetic. How do you even call yourself a man? If you let me live, I'll help you capture her. I'll even sell weapons to the Hidden Leaf Village for cheap. Huh. Kagura is pretty pathetic herself to have been fooled by the likes of you. Jiraiya! Ah, perfect timing. Restrain this guy and take him away. I'll remember this, old man. Believe me, you'll pay. Kankuro, Tamari, you guys are all right. <laughs> like I'd lose. So, what are you doing here? <sighs> Breaking the barrier, of course. Have you seen anyone suspicious about? The only shady people I've seen around here are standing in front of me. Where? He's talking about you two. Oh no, you haven't met Jutsu again. We'll show you all what true terror feels like. Don't underestimate me. No other choice. We have to face them. Let's go, Bucky. Get ready. First round. Begin. Let me. We broke the barrier. These two are still under the effects of the Genjutsu, though. Damn. The pride of the hidden sand village is at stake here as well. 
I won't allow Kagura to get away with this. We should probably meet up with the group from the Hidden Leaf Village. Let's go. I will fight to protect the Hidden Leaf Village. Asuna, what are you talking about? Have you been hit by this Genjutsu too? I will give my life to protect this village. Asuna, wake up! You're being used! You think I can be fooled by those words? If you don't come to your senses, I'll have no choice but to deal with you. Please, get a hold of yourself! Deal with me? Interesting. You're welcome to try. This is useless. Asuna, prepare yourself. Get a hold of yourself! It seems the barrier has been broken here, too. Kakashi, have you taken care of everything on your end? Yeah, more or less. I came here to back you up, should you need it. Both Guy and Asuma have fallen under the Genjutsu. Kagura, she's good, all right. Kakashi, what will happen to Asuma? Don't worry. When the Genjutsu is broken, he'll return to his senses. Kagura must fall, then. Exactly. We'd better hurry if we hope to return Asuma back to normal. I'm glad to see that everyone is safe. Yeah, and all the barriers are down too. However, the effects of the Genjutsu still linger. I suppose if we don't defeat Kagura, that won't change. Unfortunately, we don't even know where Kagura is at the moment. The Anbu are supposedly searching for her as we speak. Hey, Pervy Sage! Where's Grandma Tsunade? She's out helping with the search for Kagura. Tsunade probably feels somewhat responsible, it being Kagura and all. Why would your Hokage feel that way? Because once upon a time, Kagura thought she would be Hokage one day. Her? Become the Hokage? Yes, and at that time, she sought to become Tsunade's apprentice. Why would you want to do that? Tsunade was the shinobi that all other women looked up to. Not to mention one of the most powerful ninja around. Kagura thought that becoming Tsunade's apprentice would be the fastest way to be the next Hokage. However, Tsunade decided that Kagura was not fit to be Hokage. Why not? Don't get me wrong. Kagura had tremendous ability as a ninja, but Tsunade could clearly see Kagura was disdainful of her colleague. To get back at Tsunade, Kagura stole the scroll and fled the village. Then, Lady Tsunade became the Hokage. That Kagura had always wished to be. She's still holding a grudge over it. She might be after Lady Tsunade. We can't waste any more time here. We should all spread out and start searching for Kagura. If Kagura thinks she can destroy the Hidden Leaf Village, she's got another thing coming!
You can't escape. It took you long enough to find me. It's so sad how the Anbu have fallen. What do you mean? You only found the clues I left for you. Haven't you grasped that yet? Stop bluffing. The barriers are destroyed. You can't win. Even so, the Genjutsu can't be broken unless you defeat me. Besides, my true purpose is far greater than you can imagine. Spare us, you traitor! This is no bluff. There's only one thing I'm after, and that is Tsunade's life. I used you like pawns. Get to the point! If the Anbu find me, they'll contact your Hokage immediately. Am I right? <sighs> Once she hears my name, there's no question Tsunade will come to me herself. And that is when I will have my revenge. You're not worth her time. We'll save Lady Tsunade the trouble. This will end with us. Right here, right now. Interesting. I suppose you can help me pass the time until Tsunade arrives. Wasn't it? <sighs> oh, what's wrong? I'm not done playing yet. We have to warn Lady Tsunade. No need. We'll take over from here. It's payback time for kidnapping. Perfect. I was just starting to grow bored. Let the pain begin. Well then, which one of you will entertain me first? Or would you like to both have a go at the same time? That sunny disposition of yours, it hasn't changed a bit. With that attitude, you'll never even come close to Lady Tsunade's level. Don't make me laugh, Kakashi. Tsunade means nothing to me. Then why harbor such an obvious grudge? Tsunade was merely afraid of my talent. That's exactly why I left this pathetic village. Don't kid yourself. Lady Tsunade saw you were lacking what it takes. <laughs> what could I possibly be lacking? Kakashi, you're in no position to be lecturing me. Weak as you are. You watch your mouth! Who do you think you are, anyway? If Kakashi-sensei wanted to, he could take you out before you even knew what hit you! Oh, really? Well, you're welcome to try. We don't have time for these games. I hope you don't think I'll be going easy on you. Sakura, let's go! What? Six. 
What can I say? Can't complain, I guess. Sensei, don't move! What? Sakura! Kagura, you used some kind of jutsu on her, didn't you? <laughs> if you make even the slightest move, there's no telling what might happen to her. <coughs> well, either way, the result will be the same, really. Kakashi, Sakura... Who shall suffer first? <sighs> now, let's make this slow and painful, shall we? <sighs> I'm sorry, Sakura. Long time no see, Tsunade. I've waited for this day for a very long time. Kagura, what have you done? Lady Tsunade, I'm sorry. I'll handle it from here. Don't think your troubles are over, Kakashi. When I'm done with Tsunade, I'll take my time with you. <laughs> that cruel laugh. You haven't changed a bit. Oh no, quite the contrary. I've changed a lot. Since the old days, anyway. Do you still hold a grudge against me? That's why you're plotting against the Hidden Leaf Village, isn't it? Think whatever you like. You can never understand my motives. Kagura, talk to me. I'll defeat you and show all of the Hidden Leaf Village just how powerful I really am. I knew this day would come ever since you left the Hidden Leaf. Fine. This is just between you and me now. Prepare yourself, Kagura. Tsunade, I can't wait to see you crying at my feet, begging for mercy. And there will be none. This much power! Kagura, you'll never be able to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Why? Because you're the Hokage? No, that has nothing to do with it. I had no intention of becoming the Hokage. You lie. Why else would you be Hokage now? I decided to put everything on the line for one fool's dream. And it's my job to protect the village until that dream comes true. There are scores of ninja just as ready as I am to risk their lives. As long as the will of those people exist, the Hidden Leaf Village will never be destroyed. <laughs> Power that cannot be used to protect those around you is only an illusion. It will never be real. Yours is nothing more than an illusion. An illusion? You mean, if I had realized this, you would have let me become your apprentice? Yes. I would have, and you probably would have turned out to be a better Hokage than I ever will be. I see, but now that's all just a dream. It will never come true. Kagura. Uh, Lady Tsunade? Where am I? What am I doing here? Kagura's Genjutsu has finally been broken. Are you okay? Oh, Naruto, you came at just the right time. I have something I need you to do. I just noticed. You bet, Grandma!
know you're hiding there. Who are you? <laughs> Show yourself. I wasn't really trying to hide you. That's right. Wait, you're. Yes, Naruto. It's been a long time. I'm glad to see you again. Kabuto, what are you doing here? Well, it's complicated. Let's just say I have my reasons. Cut the small talk and spill it already! I can't really stick around. If it's at all possible, I'd really rather be going now. Don't mess with me! There's no way I'm just gonna let you up and walk away! Listen to me, Naruto. At your current level, you'll never be able to defeat me. Let's say we put that to the test, pal! How could you have grown so powerful? What can I say? When push comes to shove, I get the job done! Naruto, I'll let you have this fight. Next time, however, you won't be so lucky. Any time, any place. I'll kick your butt all over again! You so much as look at the Hidden Leaf Village the wrong way, I'll be there to knock you all the way back to where you came from! like we've managed to avoid this latest crisis, somehow. Indeed. Thanks to you, Tsunade. The people of the village have come to their senses. Yeah, I'm pretty relieved now that Sakura is free of that Genjutsu too. It's funny. I never would have thought that Kabuto was behind all of this. And behind Kabuto, of course, is Orochimaru. We have to be ready for them. And the Akatsuki are still out there as well. Don't get yourself in a bunch, Tsunade. I'll look into it. First things first, though. Focus on rebuilding the village. Any way you slice it, we have a long road ahead of us. That's for sure. I'll be counting on you all when the time comes. Grandma Tsunade, I'll get stronger and protect this village. Count on it! 